Hello, I'll talk about the Particle Accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider between France and Switzerland, 27 kilometers long. And it is just, just a big toy. It really doesn't do anything useful in life. And the reason people, scientists, build bigger and bigger stuff because they think it's going to go in the right direction, but it is not. It just doesn't work, building bigger machines. For example, if they are trying to make a perpetual motion machine that will uh, give more energy than is put in, it is the wrong way. You can make, give an illusion that it works that you get more energy out of that machine, but that's because you just make it bigger. You just make it bigger and uh, have a reduced amount of uh, history in the calculation. For example, let's say you are um, building, you make a large dam on top of a mountain. You carry buckets of water into the dam, then you open it up, you release all that water. What happens is that uh, you can say that you get more energy out than you put in. And we, with the limited uh, history in the calculation is that the energy you use is just opening up the gate to the dam, releasing the water, and then you can just say, this machine is putting out more energy than you put in. But you failed to calculate all those buckets of water you had to carry up into the mountain. And that is what scientists are missing here. They are, they are not calculating all the work that went into building a big machine that will later release all that energy. So the bigger you make the machine, the longer time it makes the longer time it takes to build it and the more energy it will release in the future and even if it takes something incomplete you take incomplete research you continue on that same research you have originally put in a lot of work to create something even invent something even something that was invented, like the wheel that was invented hundreds of years ago. A lot of energy went into creating that, to invent that. A lot of, lot of energy was wasted when creating the wheel and when creating the airplane. Trying to build something using trial and error, a lot of energy went, went into inventing the airplane so you see that you can't just take an already invented thing and further build on it and then say that yeah you I created a perpetual motion machine looks it look it gives more energy than I put in but you need to calculate all the history the entire past, all the little inventions added together, even the invention of a, a spoon, a fork, thousands of years ago, you need to count, count that in your calculations of that you're creating a machine, perpetual motion machine that is giving more energy than you put into it. So the energy you, you put into it is actually many thousands of years of energy that are collected together to create that invention. Even, in, even indirect things like someone invented the spoon, then the scientist doesn't need to eat with his hands and he will save some time because of little inventions from the past. And with that extra time, he can spend on 
creating that perpetual motion machine. So you see that it is not possible to create a perpetual motion machine just only because you need energy to invent it. And those scientists have it all wrong when they are trying to create in big machines. Because yes, a bigger machine is going to produce more energy out. But also, they are limiting the amount of history into the calculations of uh, how much energy was really used to produce that huge machine, all those workers, thousands of people working to build the machine. That is energy as well. So a lot of energy has gone into building that huge machine. So you see, it is really not possible to build a machine like that, that is giving out more energy than you put in. And uh, the Large Hadron Collider in between Switzerland and France it is 27 kilometers long. And they are trying to create new particles with it. And if that machine is supposedly going to invent something new, they are wrong with that as well. If you want to travel to another dimension, it is not with a big machine, it is the opposite. It is with a small machine, not a big one. Like uh, you go from point A to point B using a machine. You have a bicycle, a car, a spaceship, and they just build bigger and bigger, more powerful and more powerful machines to that were designed to take you from point A to point B in the physical world. But a bigger machine does nothing to enter another dimension. Nothing. You can't enter another dimension using a big machine. It is only for traveling in the same dimension. A bigger machine makes you travel faster in the same dimension. Traveling to the moon is easy. Just You just need a lot of fuel and a big machine, a big rocket. Traveling to another dimension doesn't require more fuel. It requires something completely a different, completely different. Not any kind of machine, nothing, no physical thing. You need something else than physical matter. So why would you take something physical, build something using physical particles, to be able to travel to another dimension. It just doesn't make any sense. In order to travel to another dimension, you need something that is not physical. And what is that? That is the mind. You need the mind to travel to another dimension. That's the only way. Because the mind is not something physical. That's the only thing in life that isn't physical. That's something that you know is there. And it is not uh, something physical. It's uh, your soul, your mind, your thoughts. It's really not, in so not something you can just take away and build something with. It, it, it's just... It exists already, not in a, anything physical, not a physical form. 
So the mind is what you need. If you want to travel to another dimension, that's the only way. And how do you do that? You do that with getting a different state of mind. And uh, Buddhist monks, they dedicate their entire life in reaching Nirvana. Many of them die in the process, they starve to death. They go on a crazy diet and they starve and die because they just want to get a small chance of reaching the Nirvana and they fail in doing that and that's the wrong way to do it as well wrong way the scientists have it wrong the Buddhist monks have it wrong what is the way the right way is orgasms orgasms is the way of reaching another dimension any kind of meditation is not it really not working firstly because it is not fun secondly because it really doesn't do much you need something extreme to reach another dimension that is the orgasm and to get that orgasm it is by doing something intensely pleasurable for your mind that will give you that orgasm and that is the tweaks go to eBay buy the tweaks get some orgasms get the taste of uh, another dimension it is more special than spaceship because a spaceship doesn't really do anything just you just travel from one place to another in the same dimension the same physical plane of existence what you want is traveling into another dimension you can even travel through time using the orgasms and I have, I have had some amazing experiences where time ceased to exist I was getting so much orgasms I couldn't feel my body the time disappeared there was no physical world whatsoever there was no time everything just went away I was in another place another time another dimension where there wasn't any time time didn't exist where I was traveling so I was away in another world another di another dimension where everything just was one the entire physical world the entire universe was just one giant thing and it wasn't bounded by time and I was just there in the among that big bubble if you can call it that the universe bubble I was outside the bubble floating up out from the universe away from the time away from the third dimension away from the fourth dimension I was in another dimension where the universe and time didn't exist and that is the power you can get with the mind and to unlock that power it was done with the orgasms and I was able to find the magic formula that opened up that door to get that orgasm it's like a password you type in the password 
you open the door. That's what these tweaks are that you can buy from eBay. You put it on your system, turn on the music, and it's like an automatic password is typed in. And you get that eargasm. And that eargasm is it's like an orgasm for the brain. It's like a, you're, you have a clit, like women have a clitoris. You have one in your brain that is stimulated with the eargasm, with the music. And that is creating the eargasm. And when that clit in your brain is being stimulated and vibrating, in a certain pattern, that is the password. So it is being done with the resonances of the tweaks. The tweaks makes the music vibrate in a special way, that it's like a password that you enter into the clit in your brain, in your ears, where the music vibrates and touches your clit, you get the orgasm in your ears. And that is the password, the magical password, the resonance pattern that will open up the doorway to another dimension. And it has taken a decade to find that magical resonance pattern that will open up the doorway to another dimension and uh, you don't need any big machines for that to travel through time to travel to another dimension you don't like I said in the beginning of this video a big machine is only useful for doing work in the physical world in the same dimension that is when the bigger machines are more effective, but they are not effective at all to open up a doorway to another dimension. You need the mind for that, and only the mind. And you, you need to unlock the mind for that using a special vibrating pattern, which is a password to open the doorway to another dimension. Okay? And you can do all kinds of meditations, practice out-of-body experience. I have done that. I had a book. didn't work. You can meditate, become a Buddhist monk, starve yourself to death, be near death to open up the pathway. doesn't work. You can do cold showers. doesn't work. The only thing that worked for me is the orgasms because that take, took me into another state of mind, in a very healthy state of mind as well. Because if you do the crazy stuff like almost freezing to death, you jump into ice cold lake, almost freeze to death, get near death experience, starve yourself like a Buddhist monk, just to get close to death and Jesus who walked for 40 days almost died from starvation he was near death he started hallucinating those are all waste of time don't do it it's very dangerous for you but you if you get those eargasms it is really, really healthy for you because you don't need to starve yourself to get into that state of mind you can just eat a normal diet and get those eargasms. Have enjoyment while you listen to music. Enjoy life. Get those eargasms, get transported into another dimension. In a safe, controlled way. Using these tweaks, which are vibrating in a magical pattern that will open up the gateway to another dimension. It's like a password. A different form of password like you have your phone you can take a picture of yourself to open up the mobile phone you can uh, 
move your finger in a certain pattern to open up uh, your mobile phone. You can type in numbers, letters as a password. You can even use your voice as a password. The password for another dimension is vibrations. A magical resonance, a pattern that changes when you put the rock on top of the chassis of the audio system. That way the music will change its resonant flavor, which will open up the pathway to another dimension. And you can use any kind of music you want, as long as the resonant flavor is correct, it will open up the gate to another dimension. Now this is a really enjoyable experience that you can get from this. And the more tweaks you have, the stronger the effect, the bigger the orgasm. Okay. So right now you want to go to eBay, buy these tweaks and hear it for yourself. Get those eargasms, get the get transported to another dimension. Float in air. This is the music, everything will just disappear, the physical world will disappear, time will completely disappear. There's really nothing. You're not in this dimension anymore. You are in another dimension. Okay. So I'm gonna go now. I need to find need to find my way home because look, there's a lot of snow covering the path. So I don't know what is the way home. I think it's that way. So I'm gonna go now. I will see you next time. Rock your audio system. Goodbye.